Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back for some more Sunset Overdrive. And I don't know what we're in for today. This game just gets goofier and goofier, and I fucking love it. Uh, we've blown up a giant shit talking mascot balloon. We've headbutted a roller coaster while wearing a Triceratops head. I can't wait to see where we go from here. I plan on, when I get done with this uh, playthrough, making a Final Thoughts video, as I've done in the past, to select other games. And uh, I'm just going to warn you now, it's going to be pretty positive unless this game takes a huge fucking downward slide here in the last, I'm going to say, we got to be like two-thirds of the way through the game. Something like that. <laughs> That's so awesome. I do have some gripes with the game, but it doesn't really pertain to the gameplay or the atmosphere or the story. It's more mechanical things with the way the save system's set up and uh, certain other aspects of the technical deets of the game. That doesn't really detract from the overall experience, it's more of a quality of life type of thing and what the things hell of that nature. Hey, we got These a boat! Boats are junk. <laughs> I am only following the plan that Master Brill Cream called for. You shall be safe with me, matey. Wendy? Trying out a new role. Bard didn't work out so well. On your journey, thou hast three tasks. Protect the flagship. Seek out the fiery elixirs. Throw the elixirs into the hole to heal the ship. Seems easy enough. We need to patch up the ship before tackling the high seas. Grab some trash from over there. <laughs> trash? I thought he said fiery elixir. Was great. Now bring it back and throw it in the hole. I started this game collecting trash. Now I'm collecting trash again. Maybe I've always collected trash. Maybe. Throw the trash down the hole to the lads. Oh, you up, me, Perfect! Now let's get going! Fare thee well, Paladin. We shall sing songs of your exploits. Farewell, and a duty of the Spanish ladies. But not right now! I name this ship HMS Doom. We may not Doom. be surviving this, lady. Uh, maybe not you. I uh, plan I'll on making right a video. I hope it goes the way I am thinking of doing it. I just got to make sure I have enough footage for it. But uh, I'm going to make it kind of serious, but it's kind of tongue-in-cheek too. But uh, it's going to be coming out on Valentine's Day since I have nothing better to do with my fucking time that day. And that's all I'm going to tell you about it. Earlier in the game, I kind of, like, I never really disliked the combat, but I didn't, I had some issues with it. Uh, I felt like it wasn't quite where it needed to be. But once you unlock stuff, get more weapons, I spent a good hour the other day doing absolutely nothing but running around and shooting stuff and fighting enemies. The combat really opens up and becomes just a huge, huge bit of fun about maybe a third of the way into the game. My issue with the combat, I didn't like the, uh, the making the overcharge or the amps with the overcharge vats. That was kind of sort of annoying. But I'd like to go back and try a couple of those. You can redo them as activities. I'd like to try a couple of those now since I got different weapons and stuff like that. And I, if you go into your weapon select screen, it tells you like what type of enemy each weapon is more effective with. And once I started digging my hands into that and getting my head wrapped around how which weapons were good for what, then. 
combat really became a blast. I still kind of hate fighting the, the Fizzco bots, but other than that, it's still a fucking blast. The only reason I hate fighting the Fizzco bots is just because they are so very, very punishing. And I really like this Roman candle gun, I don't know why. Amps you get are just that shit crazy too. Uh, I got one. It the description basically says screw the fourth wall. The you have your own personal damaged. announcer and he this like narrator just I'm announces everything you do and there's because we're fixing the vote with crap that I find. Oh, <laughs> um you can get one that smites people. Roman candle gun also seems to be rather effective against the OD and humans. Once again, we change a plan, me hearties. We're gonna have to navigate around the island. We're under attack. That'll get us by for a short time. We still need some more. Plus, I have it, the amp that I have on this gun, when uh, <clears throat> enemies are hit, they have a chance to spawn rockets that seek out other enemies. Arr, we have sprung a leak. Pop us off with some trash. Aye, aye, Captain. I be hoboing up some trash. Yar! If they do make a sequel, they need to bring back, like, at least the protagonist voices, um, <clears throat> I, can't, I feel like an ass now because I can't remember the name of the woman that does the player character's voice, but her and Yuri Lowenthal are just perfect, and I know I went on a big old feel about this and either the last one or the video before that but I mean <clears throat> the HMS her voice the just fits Keep the trash coming. Aye, aye, Captain. this stretch is gonna be a tight squeeze fix those leaks boys Arr, we have sprung a leak. top us off with some trash didn't catch why they're using a trash boat either. Stephanie Lemelin is the voice of the female protagonist. Yep. 
somewhere winger will be crying that their career was ruined because horrible flying monsters of death were named after them in a video game. Because, you know, anytime they put out a record and go on tour and it bombs, it's not their fault. It couldn't be because they suck. Also, if you understand or get what I was referencing in that comment, uh, props. And also, you're an old fucker like me, because that's going back a ways, probably, what, 90? Oh, early 90s, mid 90s, I think, was when that whole event happened that I was making a reference to. I have some friends that probably don't even know what I was talking about there. Might have to reevaluate our friendship if they don't know. Nice! That was close. Fix it up, boys. Hurry! No. Smash the controls before we hit! Smash the controls quickly! Up she goes! No drawbridge in the world lifts up that fast. Good job. Keep it coming. We've got plenty of leaks. Should try to grab those overcharged signs, but uh, I'll come back later. There's a lot of collectibles in this game, but <clears throat> like you gotta get those overcharged signs or the sneakers or the toilet paper and stuff for to buy amps and things like that. But I don't feel like it's uh it's not like the feathers in Assassin's Creed 2 where it, it was such like a hassle to find everything. Like for the most part you come across this stuff just by traversing through the world. Like you don't really have to go out of your way too much to get some of the stuff. Except for maybe the signs. You kinda have to go out of your way just a hair to get the signs, but I mean, for the most part, like just picking up the the sneakers and the, the underwear, I don't know why I want to keep saying underwear, the toilet paper, I mean, they're right there where you do most of your traversing. I'm going to have to watch this video back to see the hell they were just saying about a metaphor for we decided that cold wing is just back there anyway it's slow now official cannon you can't change it kill them call them wingers because they're wusses if that doesn't clue you into what i was talking about earlier then you're not old enough to know what i'm talking about <laughs> Longest fucking boat ride I've ever been on. But I don't think I've ever been on one that was so much fun. Okay, that is not as effective as I thought it would be. Uh, the HMS doomed is almost doomed. Nice. That was close. Almost Things doomed. You had more than half of your health or something Probably left. It had to be a trash boat. Pretty genius. Total garbage. Nothing but trash. Complete rubbish. Unwanted junk. Yeah, get it. It's kind of harsh.
got a mop beard. <laughs> Sweet. <clears throat> Adios, Fizco. Go suck yourself to Sunset City. Hello, vacation. Sam? Help! Fizco is getting rid of the evidence! What evidence? Us! We're the evidence! We have to go. You're damn right we have to go. We're going right out to sea. We have to go back. Are you crazy? My friends need me. Ah, that'll be fine. We just hmm. went through hell to get out of there. Why would you want to go back? Before this whole thing started, I just floated through life, never taking anything seriously. Then horror night happened, and I know this is going to sound crazy, but my life didn't start until the world came to an end. That's why we're going back. What if I say no? <laughs> That had to come from the mask. Alright, we're going to wrap this video up here. And then uh, we'll make our return to Sunset City in the next one. But until then, like always, I want to thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Alright, okay, have a good brother. one. If you want to save your friends, you should go to True Bushido's base. And remember, now. internet points if you figure out what I was talking about with the winger thing.